to me, the real central message of this Christmas story is that God chooses to do great things in humble appearances. So you're a Catholic, mm -hmm. and what did you think when you read the script, looking at it from that point of view? Uh, I thought that what excited me about it was that it was an opportunity to present Mary and Joseph in a way that I think is maybe true to, to how we view sanctity. You know, we, we have a doctrine of the universal call to sanctity, and that everyone's called to be a saint. Uh, and that you don't have to be a missionary or a monk or a nun to do it. And um, I thought this was a really cool opportunity to show the really quintessential lay saints, mm -hmm. Mary and Joseph. And I uh, just found that to be really exciting, especially if we could present the human side of them. I kept thinking when I was watching it that a lot of times, it, you know, Catholics hold Mary in high esteem, but not everybody thinks about her as much as we do. And mm -hmm. for a lot of people, she pops up at Christmas and kind of vanishes, and she's... Uh, a statue or a figure in a nativity. I think a lot of people who do, who don't expect they will will fall in love with her watching this. It's definitely my hope. I think you know what I noticed that um, all of the images of Mary I can think of. I've never seen her laughing in a painting, mm -hmm. and I thought that would be great to present that side of her, the side of her that made people want to spend time with her and gather around her and and. Uh, you know, because she, Jesus, you know, told St. John, you know, this is your mother. And I, you know, I think that we certainly see her as the mother of the early church and that pe people were learning from her. And I think uh, that wouldn't have been possible unless she had a really attractive personality that made people want to keep talking to her. Aside from Bo, she's really the central character of this. Yeah, and in some ways the central relationship is Bo's friendship with Mary. That's really what drives all of the character arc for Bo. Now there's a moment where she sort of breaks down and cries, and some people said that that might upset some Catholics. Mm -hmm. But did you think about that when you saw that in the script? Well, for me, actually, I, I developed the movie in that direction. Um, and that, for me, is inspired by Mary's conversation later in the story with Simeon and Anna. That doesn't show up in the movie, The Star, but of course she's told by Simeon and Anna that your son is going to be a sign of contradiction and your own heart will be pierced. Uh, and to me, that's that's a moment when Mary realized, oh, this is not all going to be joyous. There's going to be pain involved. The fact that God decided that he needed to tell her that, I think, means that that was something she needed to hear. And so I, I wanted to present that in this story, too, to show that Mary, you know, while being very holy, also had room to grow. Just because you're, because you're sinless or have the immaculate conception doesn't mean you're not a real human being. Yeah, it doesn't mean you know everything. Yeah. Was there one thing that you really wanted to get through in this movie that you think you succeeded at? As far as a message or something? Yeah, I, I think connecting to that idea of lay sanctity, um, to me the real central message of this Christmas story is that God chooses to do great things in humble appearances because he came to, to be our savior in the form of a baby born in a barn. Um, and most of us I think we all want to be part of something big and do something important with our lives, but most of us are not going to do anything that looks big or glamorous on the outside. And I think that, uh, I mean, that's the story I want to tell with Bo. Another, you know, he's a character who wants to do something great with his life, but ends up spending his time helping Mary, which doesn't look all that big on the outside. But because, you know, Jesus is at the center of it, he finds out at the end, this is the most important thing he ever could have done. And I think it's something that we can take away for our own lives too.